In my video about disrespecting your parents, some people respectfully disagreed with me, which is fine. I have no problem with that. So let me expand more on that video there. Let me tell you my opinion. So what I am going to say, you are not going to find it in the Bible. So let me get that straight now. So don't tell me in the comment section that, hey, Kevin, what you are saying is not in the Bible. I know that. But allow me to tell you my opinion. In all of us, whether you serve God or not, there are things that we must improve in. Whether you are in sin, whether you are serving God, there are things within us that we must improve in and change. So this is what I believe, and I can be wrong about this now. I can be wrong about this. But what I believe, that God gives us particular types of parents, particular types of sisters and brothers, so on and so on. And... A person may say, well, why can't or why did God give me parents that conflict with me? Or why can't, why couldn't he have given me parents that I could get along with? I believe he does it like that. Listen, myself, I have a particular personality trait, right? So with the personality trait that I have, I can reach certain type of people. With the personality trait that you have, you can reach certain people. Sometimes we don't get to where we need to be unless we suffered some type of pain or something traumatizing. I am the way that I am now because of all the pain that I went through. I am able to teach on certain things because I've been through it. I have been through it. So I can teach on it. If I did not have my parents, I would not have done certain things to get me to where I am now. If I had parents that was, let's say that my parents would have treated me in an other type of way, I would have never gone the route that I have went. So because of my parents treating me or the way that they raised me, because of that, I went down this route, suffered <laughs> quite a bit of pain. Then I came to God. Now I am able to help much more people. But if I had parents that would have and I am not saying that I have bad parents, but if I would have had parents that was a different type of way, there is no way I would have went down this route. So, God knows the beginning from the end. He gives us certain type of parents, brothers, and sisters 
pretty much so that by being around those people, it is either going to change or improve something within us. I don't know if that makes any sense. And like I said, I can be wrong about this, but this is my opinion. Because at one point of time, I was thinking, why am I only meeting? I am telling you, no coincidence. Why am I meeting certain type of people with similar personality traits? Why is that happening? Obviously, there is something within me that needs to improve or change. Why are those people with those certain personality traits meeting me? Obviously, there is something within them that needs to improve or change. I pray that this makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. So while you are saying, well, Kevin, my parents were really mean to me. They was doing this. They was doing that. Okay. But with you going through all of that pain, when you come fully to God, look at how many people that you are going to be able to help. Man. Let me say this, this is, there is a certain woman that messaged me every other day, every so often. And she told me about how her parents were to her. And she told me some aspects of her life. Her past was horrible, <laughs> my Lord, horrible, but she came to God, <laughs> my Lord. So she went through all of that pain, right? She has been in this and that, this and that. Now she came to God. Look. Since she have been through all of that mess and now have came to God, she will be able to reach so many people now. She is going to be able to help so many people because of what, of what she went through. I am telling you. We may go through pain but our pain serves a purpose. Man, I pray that you are hearing this. Our pain serves a purpose because if I didn't go through what I went through, there is no way I would be able to teach or would even have interest in teaching. I don't know. But that woman experienced so much. But because of what she went through, she can teach me some things that I don't know about. Many of the things she have told me about, I never knew. I never knew. But since she had those bad parents or that whatever and she gone through this and that and this and that now she is able to help much more people now you may have to suffer a bit but through your suffering there is a purpose within it so don't despise per se what you have to go through in life what is that scripture? 
all things work together for the good uh, I can't think of it for the ones that love God I may post it in the comment section so you may go through some pain and suffering and stuff like that but look at what you can do now other than feeling sad and mad about what happened to you look at how many people that you are able to help now if I did not go through <laughs> the crazy stuff that I went through my lord <laughs> I would not be as strong as I am now I would not be able to go through well who knows really but our suffering has a purpose. So go to your parents. Listen, there was this one guy that I would speak to. <laughs> and you may say that this is really crazy, but I would talk to this guy for two or more hours pretty much every day. And I was trying to teach this person about God, just giving this person so much time. And as time went by, that guy would do something here and there, and then I would have to stop talking to him. So pretty much toward the end, like he turned on me. Then he went to my Facebook page and posted some crazy stuff on there. Even though he did all of that to me, all of that to me, I am still willing to help that person. If he came to me and said, Kevin, I am sorry, but I need help. I am willing to help that person. We need to be quick to forgive. We can't hold things within ourselves. There is this other person. Almost every time when we contact each other for a while, conflict always begins. Always. Even though I have been through so much with that person, conflict, if that person needs help, I am willing to help that person out. I won't say in any way possible, but I am willing to help that person out. Because, man, look, look. No one is worth going to hell over. Do you believe that I am going to hell for some petty stuff? Do you believe that I am willing to go to hell because someone cursed me out or someone insulted me? Are you serious? Do you believe that I am going to go to hell because I can't forgive a person because of what they did to me back when I was a child? Yes, I may have suffered a tiny bit or whatever, but imagine the suffering that you will receive in hell. Think about that. It is not worth it. So, as I stated, what I said pertaining to God pairing us up with certain type of people, and I believe the same thing pertains to when you get married. God pairs you with certain type of people to improve something within you or change something within you and the same for that other person. Because married couples are like, why is our marriage always in conflict? Obviously, <laughs> that is happening for a purpose. 
Something within you have to change. Something within them have to change. So God pairs you up for a purpose. This is my opinion. This is not in the Bible. And I can be wrong about this, but the more that the more that I live for God, I begin to see this. So I can be wrong, but I don't believe that I am wrong about this. So tell me what you think about this. Don't disrespect your parents or anyone else. It is not worth it. Because you are being tested. <clears throat> tested. God bless.